G'day, welcome back to the 40 channel. So we've got Minty back on the road and we're giving it a few bit of test runs. Admittedly, our first test drive didn't go very well uh, to plan at all. We didn't make engineering. We've put that off for another whole week. There's a few things we needed to sort out just to get Minty right. So hopefully that keeps the engineer happy. But the big thing with this one is the dash. We've done a full digital upgrade to go with the upgrade of the motor. As you know, Minty's all about upgrades. So let's get straight into the upgrade of the dash. So the kit from NQ comes with pretty much everything you need if you option up for the whole lot. The full 40 series digital dash, touch screen, the whole lot, we're gonna go right into that. This is the brains of it, but it also has a little digital screen up here that tells you exactly what's going on. Everything plugs into this. Now the cool thing is about this system is that you have a couple options. It can be completely custom built to your 40, no matter what mode is in it. And you have all your inputs right here. So every single wire you wanna run, oil, temperature, fuel, all those gauges plus more can go into here. Right, I'd keep up with your speed. You have GPS, but you also have this little adapter which plugs straight into your gearbox and also plugs and feeds back to your digital readout. This is the next level part, all right? So if you've upgraded your motor and you've got something a lot newer than a 40 series motor in it, you can use OBD2. So you've got a full OBD2 plug that plugs into your existing wiring loom, the whichever motor you've got. So if you don't want to be hardwired or the OBD plug is too far away from the dash, now you can just Bluetooth it straight to the dash. How cool is that? So you don't even have to have wires. A little bit slower boot up, but you've got all the options there. On top of that NQ cell, some other really cool stuff, the digital clocking from 1980 to 1984, which is quite sought after, but can be adapted to anything. Righto, so we've unpacked all the NQ digital dash. And the cool thing is about these digital dashes, everything is calibrationable. Calibrationable? I guess that's a word, that's a word I'm gonna use. You can calibrate any sensor that you have on your motor and your car. So I just had to calibrate the fuel, we calibrate the oil pressure, the temperature is all running through the OBD. Uh, we also had to do a bit of calibration for the speed. So we're putting it all back together, but what I'm doing this time is and wired it all into, into the brains unit. I call this the brains box. I guess it's a sender. But what I'm actually doing this time around is I'm actually making up so the wiring harnesses can plug into the box and they can stay there. So if I ever need to pull out the brains, all I need to do is unplug, pull the whole system out, do whatever we need to do with it, plug it straight back in, plug and play makes it so much easier. So all we're doing is just getting all our wires. You can use different color wires, you can label them all, you can put little heat shrinks on them to identify them, whatever you want to do. Anyway, let's finish putting all these wires together, plug it into the brains, get it back into the car, and we'll show you how it operates. Right, hookup is pretty simple. You just strip your wire back. I solder and tint all the end of my wiring just to keep it all together and nice and solid. So I've done that for all of them. Undo your screw, slide your wire in and tighten it up. It's as simple as that. Right now, so you've got all manual or you can use OBD. So you've got fuel, temperature, oil, speed, taco, your main supply, power in, left and right blinkers, high beam, brake, four wheel drive light, and then there's an auxiliary one here that you can program to do whatever you want it to do actually. OBD2 comes in here. So we've been on a bit of a wiring frenzy at the moment. We ripped out the old fuse box, rewired the entire fuse box, getting rid of the old glass fuses and putting in the blade fuses. It will just make things a lot easier to get fuses for anywhere around the down the track. Any service station sells them. The glass ones are a little bit trickier to get. Right, so there's our brains unit is ready to go in the car. The couple of things I've done here, I've put an inline fuse in, just five amp. Uh, we've just taped it up to try to keep the wires a little bit neater than just being all over the place. And look, it's ready to go. So that gets all tucked up wherever you want. You can put it in your glove box, you can put it behind your dash, 
Doesn't matter, you can put it anywhere you like. Right, it's time to put the brains unit into the 40. Now, it looks like there is a mess here of wiring, but there's not really. It's all actually quite neat. Uh, there's just plug and play now that we've made all our plugs. We've got our data cable, which goes straight from the brains to the dash. This is our GPS unit. Now, we really should be having this GPS unit tucked up here somewhere so it can see much better. Right, so before we put it in there, we're just going to give it a bit of a power up, make sure everything's okay. Our power on light, speed, RPM, fuel, battery, uh, temperature, oil. Right, so you can see the brains unit sits in here. There's nothing that protrudes through and gets in the way, so it's actually a perfect location for it. Now, again, you can fit this in your glove box, you can put it under your dash, wherever you like. It's not an issue, you just got to make your wiring a bit longer. Righto, so here's our main cluster that gives us all the information of what's going on with the barrow motor and the car and a whole lot of other stuff as well. I was so excited, I, bit, I rushed it a little bit and the paint job ended up being a bit off, so that's on me. But anyway, all right, so we're going to do a bit of a test on it all, put our battery in the back. That'll keep all the uh, information locked away inside it. Put our comms unit into the back. Oh yes, check that out. Righto, it's looking pretty good. Hook it straight into the car and uh, give it a bit of a test drive. We've got the off-road sort of screen. So we've got compass, we've got altitude, we've got our angle that our 40's on more of a traditional sort of set again the gauges change taco and a speedometer minty up the top here and something a little bit more modern again all our gauges are different again but the cool thing is we have all our warning signs up here as well so it even tells us when we're in four-wheel drive there you go a little four-wheel drive light dash like we said before is fully configurable so we can go in here we can set the whole dash up to suit the vehicle that we're driving. Very, very cool. Well, that's not ideal. First little test drive and Throwing a belt. Bugger. Righto, so after getting back from our first non successful test drive, because we threw a belt, the power steering pump is cactus. We need to get a new power steering pump. Uh, that's not the end of the world. But coming back, we got a new belt. We went to put it on. This belt tensioner, which was brand new at the time, uh, has done 20 kilometers and failed. Let the belt go, went to put the new belt on, went to put the belt tensioner and nothing. So, lesson learnt. And I already knew this and I don't know why I did it. Don't buy cheap rubbish. Our second test drive was so much better. We had no issues whatsoever. I went for a fairly decent drive, went for about a 30 kilometer drive uh, through some back roads, uh, a bit of hilly country. I pulled up halfway through and thought I'd just go and check all the engine temperatures just to make sure they lined up with the new dash. 
and I freaked out. <laughs> I had 220 degrees and I'm like, oh my goodness. Uh, it was flicked to Fahrenheit. So <laughs> all was good, 95 degrees. Engine temps are perfect. They lined up spot on with the dash. The NQ dash has been built from scratch. And I mean from scratch. This guy builds all the circuit boards, everything from scratch. He builds it to exactly what you want and ask for. He can even put in any type of boot to up screen that you want. As you can see, we've got the 40 channel boot screen on it. That's really, really cool. And the clock, now that clock is really, really cool. It's such a small little item, but it tells you heaps of cool little information and gives you that nice little intro at the beginning there when you first turn it on, welcomes you to the car. Now I've already got an attachment to Minty here, but when you get in now and turn it on and it says, hi Jason, <laughs> I know it might sound a little bit cocky, but it's really cool. I really like it. It's just that little bit of warm welcoming from an old friend. I tell you what, so far I am so impressed with the NQ dash and the clock, but mostly with the after sales support you get with this. So throughout the entire build, I was getting updates, where the build was up to, how it was all going. He sent me little videos of actual testing he did. When we got it here, he ran me through all the calibrations, what we needed to do. The support for this dash was absolutely perfect. They make sure it works perfectly for exactly what you want. So well done NQ, you guys have done a sensational job with the dash. I'm stoked with it. Yes, we've only done about 100 Ks and about 120 Ks I think, but I know and I've got the confidence that if any other dramas come up, they're gonna be right there to support us to get anything sorted if anything arises, which I think I'm, I'm like, it's fantastic. Anyway, second test drive, like I said, Mate, this Barra motor is revving it up. It is so much fun to drive. It is brilliant. The downfall is that power steering pump at the moment. Hopefully we'll get that sorted out. Get into engineering. Like I said, we put it back a week. Righto guys, hope you enjoyed the episode. Not too much on the Barra and the test driving. Like I said, still getting that finer detail stuff out. But keep up with us guys, because in a couple of weeks time, we've got Yugara coming up where we've got cruises for angels and we're going to be doing a fantastic meetup with other 40 series land cruisers, raising money and awareness for farm angels. It's going to be a cracker weekend. Anyway, guys, until next time, take care of yourselves.